How you doing? Carfe Diem with Jasmine. Congratulations on your new book. Listen, I'm sending you a look at the latest messiness in Hot Topics on Wendy. Okay, so Teresa's been out of jail for 30 days now. And um, according to what they're saying, she's way too zen for the housewives. She's zen, she's mellow, she's not bringing it. And you know what it is, cause you know, the wig pulling and the fighting and whatnot. Um, the Real Housewife of New Jersey producers are reportedly really worried because she's not bringing this drama. And you know, I'm not surprised that prison has changed Teresa, you know, uh, for the better in terms of just, uh, you know, being a human being. But the problem is, is that housewife shows aren't for human beings. <laughs> They're for animals and savages. <laughs> and that's what you watch for. And apparently, Teresa um, was at the opening of um, Melissa Gorga's new boutique which is in Montclair, New Jersey, which frightens me because, you know, they're getting closer. Oh my gosh. Like, I, I live in the vicinity. You know, I, I go to Montclair a bit, and now all of a sudden I'm feeling like, oh gosh, and housewife action. Anyway, Melissa opened some sort of boutique and Teresa was there, but Teresa was really very chill and the cameras were there too. And I guess the, what Bravo's looking for is business. And the business of housewives is wig pulling and name calling. <laughs> but you know, to, you know, after you go to jail for a period of time and you're away from your kids and you know, everything that you know, of course, in my opinion, if you're a human being, of course you're gonna change for the better. The thing I wish that um, Teresa did not do was um, have Joe not get this suit tailored. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. It's very, very big on him. It looks right. It, it just looks terrible. Anyway, no, but the other thing, I didn't like, you know, when she got the Lexus with the bow on the day that she got out of, <laughs> leave it to Hot Topics. We, we've always got the receipts <laughs> on it. <laughs> um, the Lexus with the bow was a bit much. I just feel like um, maybe she made a mistake by returning to the Real Housewives of Jersey on one hand. On the other hand, what is she going to do for money? You know, uh, she's not selling that fabulatini. Is she still selling that? Try. Oh, okay. Liquor store troll? No, you know that? No, she's not selling that anymore? Okay. She's, she's not selling that anymore that I know of. Um, the cookbook business, well, the cookbooks, you know, they, they come and go. You know, books have a season and then they stop unless you write something like, are you there, God, it's me, Margaret. <laughs> Which to me still applies to young girls today, even though that's a Judy Bloom book that we all read back in the day, right? Right? Uh, so what is she going to do to support her daughters? And Joe is about to go to jail. I mean, if I just got out of jail, I would want to spend all of my time with my daughters. Not necessarily Joe. You know, because he's going away and, you know, the In Touch magazine talks about him and, you know, possibly other women behind her back and stuff. But I'd want to spend all my time. I wouldn't want to be on The Housewives. On the other hand, I'd need a paycheck. So I'd have to figure out what am I going to do. So she returned to The Housewives and she's not bringing it the way they wanted her to. And if I were the other Housewives, I'd be glad she's not bringing it only because now you all can close in the ranks like they did in Atlanta. You know what I mean? Like, Nene's not there, and it doesn't seem to be so missed. You know? So, um, anyway, hi, uh, you all. <laughs>